Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. I've got Mr. Needy here with me, he's in my shirt. Uh, if you haven't seen him before, I'm sure he'll pop out at some point. Um, he, uh, he likes to take naps in my shirt, isn't that right, Mr. Needy? Isn't that right, sir? Yes, he's a little alien chest monster, don't worry about him. So today we're going to be looking at Rattle Cage. Rattle Cage is a very interesting plate with uh, quite an interesting history, and uh, we'll go over that in time. But right now, we're going to be talking about what it's good for specifically. So Rattle Cage is actually a relatively easy to come by plate. Um, I usually find one of these at some point during my playthroughs, and they actually have quite a few uses. So uh, let's go over this plate together, and we'll talk about it. Right off the bat, you see it is Rattle Cage Gothic Plate. So it's going to be a relatively heavy plate armor, which means it does have some, uh, some run-walk penalties. Uh, we have 335 defense on this, which is uh, relatively high for a, uh, a plate, uh, a gothic plate. Uh, it is 70 strength requirement, which is not very high for its level requirement, which is only level 29. Uh, so considering that at level 29, you usually will have 70 strength, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, it has 45 to attack rating on it, uh, which is definitely nice to have for a melee class. It has 25% chance of crushing blow which is pretty amazing, to be honest. Uh, crushing Blow is the chance to deal a huge percentage of damage to the monster. Um, current HP. So what this means is, is that when the effect triggers, if it, if it triggers at the 25% chance, you have a 25% chance to deal 25% to the monster's current HP and damage, uh, which is a pretty large number. Um, it does only 12.5% versus bosses, though, so to keep that in mind, and uh, it's 10% in PvP. And if you are a bow class character, which is actually one of the main uses for this armor, um, it is 12.5% versus monsters, and 6.5% uh, versus bosses, and only 5% versus PvP. However, it's still very effective. Um, because they reduce the amount of damage that it does, doesn't mean that it is no less effective uh, when you're spamming those attacks. Uh, we also have a bonus defense of 200 on here, um, so no flat percentage-based defense increase, uh, which means that this will probably upgrade very poorly, uh, which, is, which is fine because you're probably not going to upgrade this anyway, uh, maybe for a mercenary, but that's pretty much it. Now, we also have the Ethereal version, uh, which has the 50% damage bonus, and as you can see, not much of an increase over the uh, the non-Ethereal version, and that has to do with the massive 200 bonus defense that it gets. The Ethereal um, modifier does not affect that bonus defense, and so uh, effectively it's only providing a bonus defense to the base instead of overall. So not much of a difference there. Um, however, if you did find an Ethereal version, uh, would be good for a mercenary. And I feel like that's what we need to broach into next, which is what is this particular armor good for? What characters would best get use out of this plate? Uh, well, it works very well on uh, characters like ranged characters because it has hit causes monster to flee 40%. Uh, this is extremely effective for Amazons or a, uh, a throwing barbarian. Um, you can also put this on a mercenary to relatively good effect. And the, the really nice thing about this hit causes monster to flee is that it doesn't work on bosses or elites. It only works on, like, the trash mobs. So for the most part, despite the fact that it has this effect, it's still relatively nice to use, even on a melee character. Because as you're in there fighting a boss, maybe you're a paladin and you're zealing, um, it's going to cause the monsters to run away from you, but not the boss to run away from you. So it's going to allow you to sort of single out the boss monsters. Now, Crushing Blow also works on your minion as well. So if you have a nice mercenary, um, you can put this on him to give him Crushing Blow, uh, which is honestly a pretty amazing thing that you can do. Now, granted, my mercenary right now is set up with a, a treachery, but at a lower level, at level 29, you might want to set up your mercenary with something that gives him Crushing Blow. And 25% Crushing Blow is going to be effective on just about any mercenary you put it on as long as they are hitting with their melee weapon. So not the Ag-3 mercenary. <laughs> um, even a ranged mercenary, like the Act 1 Rogue mercenary, can get a very good effect of this Crushing Blow. And, uh, and you can tag this along with other items. 
Like for instance, if you tag this with a Hon Sudan Yari, the Hon Sudan Yari has 45% crushing blow on it. This has 25% crushing blow and they do stack together. And you'll be running 45, 55, 65, 80% crushing blow, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, so you can tag Rattle Cage and Hon Sudan Yari together on an Act 2 Merc and you can really stack up the crushing blow. Um, later on in the game, you will come across a very nice uh, <laughs> rune word called duress, which may be a better choice. But if you're looking to specifically build Crushing Blow, this is a very good plate for that. And um, it has one other purpose, and we're going to go over that. So here I am on my sorceress, who is uh, running the Talrasha set, as you can see. Um, and she has two uh, items in her inventory. Uh, I know I may have given it away, but uh, which one of these is the Rattle Cage? And which one of these is Talrosh's Guardianship? Can you tell? Now, this one's Ethereal, so this one is probably Rattle Cage, right? Yeah. But which one of these two is Rattle Cage? And this is one of the uses of Rattle Cage that is rather uh, illicit, is that they look identical in a trade window. And uh, unfortunately, Rattle Cage has been very often used to substitute for the Talrasha's Guardianship Lacquered Plate. And, uh, and this is a rather unfortunate thing, and I, I contemplated not including this in the video. Because the last thing I want to do is teach people how to exploit others. But... I also feel like this game has been out for 20 years, or more than 20 years, and you guys should know by now that uh, these two plates are the same. And if you don't know by now that these two plates are the same, and people like to use these t armors to, uh, to fake each other out, essentially, in trades, and screw each other over for getting these items, then you need to learn. Because when so you go to trade for Tal's armor with somebody, you need to be aware that Rattle Cage looks exactly the same, and that in a trade window, um, they can very easily substitute Rattle Cage for Talrasha's Guardianship. So the last thing that we're going to do is upgrade this. Um, I want you guys to see what it could potentially upgrade to, and uh, whether it might be a good choice or not for a Tier 1 or maybe even a Tier 2 upgrade. So right off the bat, we have uh, the Rattle Cage Gothic Plate, which is 335 defense, 70 strength requirement, level 29, uh, which needs a shale, a towel, and a perfect diamond. And that upgrades into the Rattle Cage Embossed Plate, which is 125 strength, level 34, and uh, 498 defense. Uh, the defense increase didn't really go up that much, but the level increase didn't go up that much either, and neither did the strength requirement go up that much. Uh, 125 is still perfectly doable by a mercenary or a player. Uh, 35, 34 level requirement is absolutely nothing. Uh, it only increased by, what, uh, 5 levels? Which is not bad at all. And um, quite honestly, if I had this plate and I was using this on a mercenary, um, I would do that upgrade. That's, a, that's absolutely solid. Let's check the ethereal version, because I feel like we'll have better luck with this one, especially if we're using it on a Merc. So we've got 402 defense, 60 strength, and level 29, which goes to 636 defense, 115 strength, and level 34. So a very solid one-tier upgrade. Level requirement did not go up that much. Strength requirement did not go up that much. And the defense was at least enough to be warranted. Uh, Shale and Tal with a perfect diamond is extremely cheap. And it's certainly not something that I would be overly worried about as far as uh, as cost. And um, I don't think that the upgrade to the third tier is going to be worth it, but, uh, but we're going to do it anyway. Because that is what this series is about, exploring the items in all their facets and uses. So uh, Rattle Cage Embossed Plate, 498, 125 strength and level 34, with a Lem, a Co, and a Perfect Diamond. To 668 defense. Uh, 208 strength, ooh, that is not worth it, uh, level 74, so definitely a bad third tier upgrade, terrible, terrible third tier upgrade. Now the ethereal plate is probably going to get a little bit more defense, and we'll see, 636 defense, 115 strength, level 34, to 960 defense, 
198 strength and level 74. Unfortunately, still not worth it. That 198 strength is very prohibitive. The level 74 is very prohibitive. Uh, just in general, just not worth the third tier of the upgrade. First tier upgrade? Yes. Second tier upgrade to the third tier of armor? No. Well, there's really not a lot much more to talk about this armor. Um, it's great for mercenaries. It's great for low-level melee. It's great for low-level uh, ranged characters. Um, it's not great for sorceresses, obviously. And um, honestly, if it wasn't for the um, for the trade bug, you know, where the uh, the graphic on both of these looks exactly the same, and 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 as I've shown you, it does look exactly the same in both versions. I mean, I could literally. Um, play do -si do here and just like swap these around which one am I holding in my hand which one is it do you know do you know which one I'm holding in my hand because uh, it's pretty difficult to know exactly which one I'm holding in my hand let's take a guess I'm holding Tal Rashes. no I'm holding uh, I'm holding rattle cage so, you know, always make sure you double check your trades, folks, especially with the existence of Rattle Cage in there. Um, you definitely don't want to get scammed out of a Tal Rush's Guardianship Lacquered Plate, which is a very nice plate uh, for a, uh, a rather not so great Rattle Cage. And don't get me wrong, I actually do like Rattle Cage, and I think it's a very great low level plate uh, that is usable in quite a number of ways. As I said, Hone Sudan Yari and Rattle Cage make a very good combination early game. But, um,. Definitely not worth a, uh, a Talrash's guardianship, that is for sure. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And um, if you're looking to find this, I almost forgot, if you're looking to find yourself a Silos Pen, uh, a, a, a Rattle Cage, you need to go over to Silos Pen. Uh, it's Freudian slip there. Silos Pen is the website that I like to go to uh, to, you know, just check out this kind of stuff and see where the best place is that we could possibly find this item. Um... So let's go to uh, Uniques. Let's assume we are a noob who has 0% magic find, uh, because I feel like this is a good way to do this. Uh, we're going to pull up Rattle Cage. Bam, there we go. We're in Players 1. We have a party size of 1. And we're going to hit Find. All right, so we go to Probability, and uh, it looks like if we avoid the quest kills, and a lot of quest kills, uh, it looks like bail in normal difficulty is the best possible chance for um, a rattle cage. Uh, and Dariel in Nightmare is also right up there in second. And Mephisto in Nightmare and uh, Diablo in Nightmare. So it looks like bail in normal difficulty is our best bet there for normal difficulty bosses. Uh, let's do a double check here, though, for normal difficulty bosses specifically. And uh, it does look like Diablo has a chance at 1 in 919. Not bad. Let's also look at Super Uniques in Normal Difficulty. So uh, as far as Super Uniques go, uh, Neelithak, Frozenstein, Pindle Skin, Thresh Socket, Snap Chip Chatter, Sharp Tooth Slayer, uh, Lister, Akmel, Barta, Colenso, and Ventar the Unholy. Um, and if we go to all... It looks like the best probability is the Cow King and Nightmare Difficulty. So, not bad. Um, all in all, if you're looking specifically for a Rattle Cage, um, you'll probably find it. Um, I, I generally find at least one or two Rattle Cages whenever I'm leveling up characters. And uh, it's really, that's really all there is to it. Uh, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, keep watching.